Alright, so now on the front of the drive you have this hole right here and on the on the drive that's uh, the one you just removed you won't have this in the way of course you push that push a paper clip in there and you'll find that the uh, drive pops out well get in there right there that thing comes out then what you have to do is unsnap very carefully this this thing. Now I'll show you what the one on the Sony looks like and kind of how it lines up here. Sorry for the jaggedness of this camera. I'll get it all figured out here before I do it. Okay. So there's the there's the front of a drive with the thing removed. And here is one of these face plates. And you'll notice it has a tab here at the end on the left side. It has one kind of in the middle and another one over there. And then another tab over to the right side. And they line up with that hole there and a couple other holes. And you'll notice if you can see where the one tab goes in, you see that little hole in the face plate. That lines up well, with that little protrusion on the, well it's not really easy to say, but yeah I guess yeah, sort of. There's a little thing there that kind of fits in that hole. So what you have to do is carefully push down, push in on that one, push, uh, I think it's Well, in this case, it is uh, up on this one. And I did it with the drive upside down because then you can see everything. And uh, you'll notice that that kind of slides in there, that kind of slides in there, and everything sort of fits and that pushes on. So on this drive, what you have to do, you turn the thing upside down. You have to, very carefully, you'll notice that you're going to, uh, you can see the tab a little easier. You see the little gray thing sitting back here. That pushes down so that that part slides forward. That thing over there pushes, which way? Well, this is in the way here. This other tab pushes down right here. Let me get something to point with. Uh, screwdriver, maybe. I don't have a screwdriver. Right handy, it's over on the table. But uh, that little gray thing pushes down. And then you have this other little deal here that pushes slightly to the to the right and if you're real careful there's four places where this thing is hooked up and they're just sort of snapped in once you get this front face plate off it'll just snap right in to this other drive make sure you put it in the right setup you can, you, you can only put it one way once you've done that your drive is ready to install believe it or not and I now have mine running I didn't realize that this carrier that you had to muck with the carrier, but you do. But when it's all said and done, you'll have yourself a DVD and RAM drive replacement for the old, plain old CD drive. Hopefully that helps.